Hey, Sneakers, back today. Back today with Legacy OS4 Mini. Yes, Mini. Been waiting since January. It's now March, the end of March, but it's out at last. The difference between Legacy OS4 Mini and Legacy OS2 is this is based on Puppy 4 series and a completely different kernel. So it's 2.6.25.16. KDE 3.5, but it's not all KDE, it's not full KDE, but it's got a bit of stuff going down, as you can see. Now it looks very, very similar, doesn't it? And it's basically a rework of Team Pump 2010, which is very fine by me. Lots of people like it, and lots of people still use it. But this is a better update, and so it's for more modern machines, but not too modern. If your machine's too new, it may not run. Okay, it may not. Yeah, don't hear that. So it's good. your machine's too new, do you? Okay, so over here we get our usual stuff. Internet, email, pigeon, Skype, contacts, notes, desktop, mixer, setup, search, burner, calc, spread, write, camera, amrock, drive, CD ripper, SM player, and K torrent. They're all single click icons, okay? Which is good for me. So I'm going to do first. What shall I open up first? Well, I'll tell you what. We'll open up Amrock, okay? Amrock, here she comes. As you can see, I've been checking out the old uh, Ripper, which is a K Ripper. I'll show you that in a minute as well. Amrock works perfect in here. No problem at all. Get the old equalizer settings and everything like that. If I get the tools, you'll see what I mean. There are my equalizer. As you can see, done my own equalizer bit and bobs here. I've been having a play. I only downloaded a few tracks, but hey. They all play rather nice, and you can do anything you really want with it. So yeah, that's one good thing. So let's just quit that. I'm going to quit. Okay, well, where else goes? Oh yeah, the CD ripper. Right, get K Audio Creator. Now this works really, really well with Amrock. Really, really does, yes. So yeah, keep to this one. I did, I'll say again, I did install a Sunder. Now on a standalone machine, it works fine. On this machine, don't mind I know, but this is in VirtualBox, the actual video. The machine I installed it on the real machine was an Athlon 1.8, oh yeah, plus, what we call it. So it's quite old, and that adds 512 of RAM, run perfect, lovely, lovely, jubbly. Install was longer, but hey, you've got to respect that, haven't you, really, when you think about it. Okay, that's that out of the way. Under applications, well, remember it's based on Puppy, but he has changed quite a lot in here. So on a desktop, you get your theme choosers, JWM configuration, keyboard stuff, the stuff you would normally see in Pub. There will be no updates to this, although he's going to release some extra packages for it, so he said to me yesterday, okay, so that would be pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Manage your printing, stop printing, your hardware information, yeah, it's all here. Wizard web interface for your cut stuff. G-parted, format floppy disk, if you've still got one, by the way, you might not have one, I don't know, and all that sort of stuff in there. Under setup, right, we get the legacy OS control panel, so I'll quickly, I'll quickly click on that for you. You can do the add, remove, net stuff, icons, screen, scheduler, boot config, country, cursors, themes, wallpaper, fonts, and AWM. Under hardware, do your sound, your printing, keyboard and mouse, CDs and DVDs, hot plugin and video. Your drives, you can check it all out here. And under more, we have an antivirus, which I'll show you in a minute. Your processes, pup installer, remaster X, which is a, a VoIP phone thing, okay. Okay, and devices. Okay, so that's that out of the way. We're going to go down to applications. Remember, you can right click the desktop to get this as well. As you just see me do just a minute ago, didn't you? Okay, right, you get all these file browsers you get Conqueror, Rocks, Dolphin, and Crusader. So there's plenty here. The download is 430 megabytes. Okay, so that's super duper. It's quite large, obviously, but it comes with loads and loads of stuff. Yes, indeed. Lots of stuff down here. So that's nice. And the graphics. Lots of viewers, slide show stuff, photo enhancement stuff. I installed Gimpy just to make sure everything was working. Okay, so I'll just show you that. So it doesn't actually come standard with Gimpy. Okay, but it's here and it works, which is nice. I like it. Under documents, right? <clears throat> you do get Abby Word and you get K Word. Okay, if you don't like it, you can go to the Puppy forums and you'll be able to find a package for OpenOffice or LibreOffice for the Four Series Pub. Okay. That's if you really want it. Also comes with Scribus, okay, yes. It's an older version, but it does what it says on the tin, okay? So that's nice. I'll just open it up a bit more for you. Yes, I know it's only 1.338, but it still works, okay? That's what you need it to do. At the end of the day, it is for old machines. Just to stop you chucking them away at the end of the day. So you don't do that, do you? G Numeric, open it up for you. Yep, yeah, all works nice and hunky-dory, lovely. Personal, get loads of stuff in here too, like Diddy Wiki, Contact, Osmo, Pcrypt, Teleco, 
a couple of timers there. Network, load stuff for your dial up and your PPOE for older uh, modems. Extra Wi Fi drivers if you need them. Okay, monitor my wireless connection. Well, I'm Ethernet connected here, so I don't want to do that. So you should be able to get quite a lot of your wireless devices working now in the Legacy OS4 Mini. Okay. And internet. You get Firefox and you get Opera as well. Don't forget, you also get, if we go down here, KMail as well is there. Pigeon is here, as I said earlier. Skype, as I said to you earlier. Transmission, XChat, and all the other stuff. Multimedia. What a lot in here. So you've seen Amrock, there's Elsa Mixer, Elsa Player, Java Tunes, K Audio Creator, we've seen already. Yeah, lovely, super duper. Caffeine is also here. Caden Live is also here. Yes, it's an old version, and I think he said he may be updating this at one stage. <clears throat> there are actually extra packages you can download from him. But hey, I know it's old, but it will do what it says on the tin, which is what you want it to do, isn't it? Oh yes. Okay, next in multimedia. Whoa, where was we? Okay, in life, you get kids for tagging your MP3s. Also, KM player, lovely. You also get XVID cap. Okay, should I see if it works? Well, I know it works, but I'm going to show you. So I'll open it up, I'll unlock the screen. I'm going to drag him down here a bit. I'm going to drag him down just to so you get a full screen. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay, obviously, on older machines, you ain't going to get a very, very fast frame capture rate, but hey. Got it here to play with. So I'll go here, go to my preferences, go to multi frame. You won't normally be able to get the audio to work, okay? So you'll have to use a different program to do it at the same time. But hey, that's not really a big deal, is it, when you think about it? So, should we give it a go? Yes. Should we record that? Yes. Okay. We're now recording. That's good, isn't it? Yes. So we'll do a couple of little bits and bobs. Hang on. We've got applications. You'll see all these open up in the video that I'm going to show you in a minute. Oh, yeah. Look. All workies. We had enough of that? Yes, I'll just show you what it looks like. So I can now close that and now close that. Now I'm going to go into one of my file stuff. Okay, one of my files managers, <clears throat> excuse me. Too much chocolate. Okay, we're going to go to Dolphin File Manager and here you see our video. Now I'm going to open that with SM Player. And there we go. Make it large for you. Look at that. It actually works for you. You can see it going along. There's me doing stuff nice it works that's what you want super duper lovely next on the agenda <clears throat> multimedia again we've done extra cap you also got an iso file writer you get iso master k3b for cd and dvd burning and p burn oh yes quite a few games hey quite a few but most people be doing online games aren't you so you know ain't too many here release information i'll quickly open it up for you Basically, read it before you go any further, while you've still got the live CD in, and he tells you all about it and why he's created it, okay? And here, all the information will be here. I'm not going to read through it with you, because you can do that yourself, can't you? Yes, of course you can. You can refresh your menus, your shutdown menu here. That's lovely to have release, we'll cancel that, because we don't want to do that, do we really? No, of course we don't. And settings for your focus, and different themes. So if I go to, shall we say, Team Bantu you could do, or Team Pack 2010. You can change everything you really want. So, on the whole, I've had no problems with it so far. And he did say he's going to release some more packages for you in the near future. So, if your machine's not old, 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 but it's still old, like we're looking at least five years old, four years old, no, we'll say five, this could be the baby for you to give it a go on, okay? Yes, super duper. I really like it. I mean, I've only had it going for how many hours? Hmm, maybe six, seven hours? But it works fine on both machines, so I'm quite happy with that, really. So we're not going to give it out of 100. Got to be 93. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.